four CIT robbers have been killed in Guamashu, that's in KZN, after a shootout with police. The suspects are believed to be involved in a spate of cash and transit robberies in the area of Eteguini. Guns, explosives, vehicle number plates, as well as signal jammers were found at the scene. Let's get an update now from Karinda Jagmohan who is our reporter on the scene. Karinda, good morning to you. And I take it that uh, the police's forensics teams are still combing the scene of that particular shootout. But uh, is it true that there might be another scene where police are involved uh, in some kind of battle with the robbers in Umlazi? Uh, Oli, good morning to you indeed. Police are doing their work here in Kwamashu. You're seeing authorities right now who have been into the house where the suspected CIT uh, robbers were killed and they were taking their images as well, expanding the crime scene because they're soon going to have to remove the bodies but also the explosives. Uh, now on that shooting regarding Umlazi, I do have the KZN police spokesperson, Brigadier J. Naika, with me. So, uh, Brigadier, of course, while we stand here, we know that uh, in the south of Durban, another shooting has taken place. I know you've been here from very early in the morning, but any information we have on that, could it be linked to this? No, no, no. I can't confirm anything about Amlazi. As you said, I've been here before 7 o'clock this morning. Um, Brigadier, going forward, I've just seen the uh, police authorities ex so somewhat expand the crime scene in terms of the police tape. What is the next step for authorities right now regarding this uh, house? Uh, yeah, the people that you saw on the crime scene are our crime scene experts um, from our local criminal record centre, so they will be processing the scene. So it's going to be a long day because they are very thorough, and as you said, they've expanded the scene. They're looking uh, not at in the house, but around the house also for any exhibits that they might find, you know, bullet casings, anything. So uh, they, only after they come the scene will the detectives be allowed to go in and see what other evidence is on the scene. When we speak just at this point about the explosives, what do we know so far? Could this be a danger to the community around there? Um, and how would police manage to, to remove these explosives? What would be the process? So the explosives have been removed. They have been removed by the uh, technicians from the, our bomb disposal unit or explosives unit. So, and we just took that as a precaution to call them in because not everybody is allowed to handle explosives, so they're the only ones in the SAPS that are allowed to handle. So that was safely removed. Um, and yeah, it, it is a danger to the community because we've seen the damage it does when it's used to blow up uh, these cash vehicles. Brigadier, just as we conclude, I mean, this house is right on the side of the highway, in the corner of the highway. We now know it's described as a safe haven for uh, the suspects. What do we know about the house so far, and what would your investigations entail regarding this specific property? Uh, like I say, yeah, well, are there, our detectives are still waiting for the crime scene experts to, to, to process the scene, and once they do that, we definitely will be looking to the house, to the owners of the house, um, especially, because we're quite convinced that they, when they, when they let these house, this house out to the criminals, they would have been, they would have known that they're, they're hiring the house out to criminals, and it's possible that this house is being used as a safe house by other criminal groupings. Brigadier, thank you so much for your time. Brigadier Jay Naika, the KZN police spokesperson. Let's uh, just show our viewers the house in question. My colleague Spo uh, Ngubande is showing you. Um, what we can see as we're on the ground is just through some of the uh, pillars here on the wall are those number plates in question, uh, the Limpopo registration vehicles um, that we're seeing. And we know that four bodies are inside the house at this point. It's going to take some time for authorities to go into the actual house, to remove the bodies as they continue the investigation. We know they've expanded the crime scene to just look around the house itself, but this particular house on the corner of Queen Nandi Drive and Sikhindi Drive uh, is now described as what used to be a safe haven for criminals, varying groups uh, that used to use this house as a place of rest perhaps after conducting their criminal activities, and the police also have to investigate uh, the property as well. Karinda Jagmohan, live for us there in Guamashu and a crime scene that the police officers are still processing at this stage, that shootout uh, taking place in the early hours of this morning.